And once again, I want to mention as well that uh, uh, our first guest, we're going to introduce him in just a second, although he's been on Daystar many, many times, and my wife and I, uh, were, Anusha and I were just talking to him, that uh, uh, he just mentioned to us he's headed back to Moscow for about the 10th or the 12th time. So this brother is not only a gifted surgeon and a very, uh, mm. uh, he's a, I want to call an intellectual in, in the area <laughs> of cancer and cancer prevention, but he travels around and uh, God just uh, hooks him up, we might say, with key people around the world to help prevent cancer. And so we want to welcome back to uh, Daystar. He is one of Daystar's own, Dr. Francisco Contreras, with the Oasis of Hope. Dr. Contreras, welcome, and God bless you, sir. My pleasure and honor. My pleasure. Well, uh, people still get sick. Yes, unfortunately. And uh, they're still getting cancer today. And um, I guess my question to you is, can we beat cancer? Is there a way to actually beat cancer today? There's a lot of gloom and doom about cancer nowadays because the incidence is so high and, and, and our results are so poor. One out of every two men in America will develop cancer in their lifetime. That's and very what, scary. what form of cancer is that? Uh, in, any type. Any type. Of all okay. types. And one out of every three women will develop cancer in their lifespan here in America. And, and that's why there's so much fear. And yet I come with a book that says that we can beat cancer. And there is a lot of hope because the best way to beat cancer is to prevent it. And there's many, many ways that you can prevent cancer. And the fortunate thing is that the things that you can use to prevent, once you have cancer, they can also help you beat cancer. And beating cancer is not only getting rid of it, but also managing and controlling cancer. Because yes. if, if you can convert cancer from a deadly disease into a chronic disease, a disease that you can live with, makes a big difference so yes. you can also be great that strides way. when you can do that and and so that's what this book is all about well i've read through this book and uh, not cover to cover yet because i just got a hold of this but this is an excellent excellent book that we just highly recommend beating cancer and i like this 20 natural and spiritual and yes medical remedies and uh, i uh matter of fact when i was diagnosed with uh, colon cancer a number of years ago yes. Uh, you and I talked on the phone, and you work, uh, walked me through several of these, and uh, my diet wasn't bad, but it wasn't all of the things that you recommended for me, and it mm -hmm. just changed my life and my diet. I still uh, eat all that fruit that you recommend. Wonderful. We make it into a smoothie. Yes. And uh, because to sit around and eat, you know, to, to slice and mm -hmm. dice, yes. you know, 10 yeah. different kinds of fruit for her or myself. Correct. So we make it into to a smoothie, and I drink one yeah. or two of those a day, and I love them. And you can make and them in any flavor, healthy. strawberry or banana flavor or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's very healthy. Yes. yes. Um, and I also make for him uh, oatmeal with almond milk. Which you recommended, yes. by the way. That yes. you recommended. That you also said that sugar is one of the main ways that uh, it very much promotes cancer, right? Correct. Refined products, both sugar and white flour, are some of the worst things that we can consume. And it's the number one and two elements of food that Americans consume the most. So that's what we need to change. If we change our lifestyle, then the incidence of cancer will drop dramatically. Uh, uh, and, and this is information that we need. You know, people yes. perish for lack of knowledge. Yes. And uh, unfortunately, the knowledge that we lack is the biblical knowledge. And God has given us so many tips, health tips, for us to be healthy that we don't follow. And that is why I've decided to write books, especially for the body of Christ, but for everybody out yeah. there. Well, you've written, what, tw 11 or 12 books? Yes. And uh, are they all on the subject of cancer? They're all in the subject of cancer. No, some of them are okay. in the subject of heart disease, and, and a couple of them are just on general health, all right. how we can live longer and better. Yes. Well, again, if you're watching this broadcast and you have a question about some type or form of cancer, either you may have cancer, we hope you don't, but if you do, then this is the, the individual that you want to talk to right here. And so pick up the phone and call Daystar, and they'll work it out to where um, uh, we can listen to you live, and uh, Dr. Contreras can answer your question. And uh, so we're taking opportunity, uh, the advantage of, of a guy with your incredible knowledge. And yeah. one of the things I like about Dr. Contreras is that you combine prayer and faith in God and believe in God for healing both naturally and spiritually as well. Correct. Those are things that we need to take advantage of. God is just there waiting for us to negotiate with Him. Yes. And we can negotiate with God. He's very open to negotiation. 
if you remember the story of Hezekiah, you know, he was going to die and then yes, he negotiated exactly with God right. and God gave him 15 more years. And one of the things that happens to people when they are diagnosed with cancer is that they freeze, they don't know what to do. So I've developed together with this book, Beating Cancer, a, uh, the Oasis of Hope uh, 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 cancer battle plan. So a lot of times people, they just say, well, I have cancer, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm walking, but I'm dead, mm -hmm. I'm dead. But you can develop a plan to beat cancer. This is free for you. If you uh, uh, check our website, we can send this plan for you. It's a, it's a series of videos, uh, a booklet that you work with us uh, uh, in, an e-book. Because if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. So like when that. you are diagnosed with cancer, you need to have a plan. You don't have to be our patient, and it's free. Take advantage of that. If you have been diagnosed with cancer or a loved one has been diagnosed with cancer, take advantage of this plan. Uh, we ahead. already have some questions that yes. people are calling in. Uh, one person is calling and saying that I had a hysterectomy me 30 years ago, and now my bones snap and crack. What can I take to strengthen my bone? There are several things that you can do to, 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 to do that. And one of them, of course, is taking calcium, uh, uh, ingesting calcium. But in order for calcium to be absorbed, you need to expose yourself to the sun at least 20 minutes a day. Uh, don't bake in the sun for hours, but 20 minutes a day is very important. And then some exercise. Uh, and uh, strain exercises that you do, uh, like lifting weights, not very heavy. But that's what's going to uptake the calcium and, go, and it's going to make your bones stronger. So that's what this person needs to do. Yes, and another person is calling and asking a question that her daughter has been on radiation and chemo. What can she take to help the body regain strength? This is very important because sometimes chemotherapy and, and radiation therapy can be quite effective in destroying a tumor, but it also destroys your immune system. Yes. And if your immune system is not working for you, then the cancer is going to come back. So SOD, superoxide dismutase, but everybody knows it as SOD, is one of the supplements that you need to go to your health food store and start consuming. That's going to protect you from the onslaught, especially of radiation therapy and chemo. And doing things that are going to improve your immune system, a good diet with no uh, preservatives in it, wholesome diet with organically grown foods is going to be very important for you. Now, I know you're a big proponent on organic foods and things. I read that in your book. And yes. It, so it is that important. If you can get a hold of it in your area, meat, other areas. Uh, vegetables any, and fruits vegetables. That, that have no pesticides. This right. is very important. Unfortunately, here in America, it is available to you. Yes. And it used to be very expensive. Now it is not that expensive. So it's very important, especially for somebody that already had chemotherapy and radiation therapy, that's going to be very important. So strengthening your immune system is, is the most important thing that you need to do. And prayer has proven, and there are, there are many articles published in the medical literature that prayer improves the quality and quantity of your immune system. Yes. So take advantage of that, get close to God, and you'll do well. Yes, and we have another question. Um, Somebody had colon cancer, they already had surgery, but now, should they take chemo? It will depend on, on the stage. If you had the surgery and there's tumor left back in your system, sometimes chemotherapy can be of great help to, to these patients. But if, if the whole tumor was removed, I do not believe that chemotherapy is a preventing agent. Rather, get a hold of us and we'll give you a plan that you can follow to reduce the risk of this, com uh, this tumor coming back, avoiding chemotherapy altogether. All right. So it will depend on, the, on, on each case. Very helpful. Well, we have a caller on the line right now. Orsha, if I have that right, from Ohio. Orsha, are you there? Yes, I am. Well, oh, welcome well. to Celebration, and uh, you're talking with Dr. Uh, Contreras on uh, yes, the I subject of, uh, of cancer. What is your question for him today? My question is how I developed melanoma cancer. I developed melanoma cancer on my eye, and I'm wondering how did I develop it there? Uh, melanoma is one of the areas that it can uh, appear, and sometimes that's why we don't find it is in the retina, is in the eye, because there's a, there's a concentration of melanin in that area, and that's why people develop this cancer. 
We don't know exactly why it happens there and not in the skin. It's normally a skin cancer, uh, but uh, it, it's not so uncommon, uh, Orsha, for you to develop that. And uh, have you been treated uh, uh, for this? Yes, I have. Uh, well, there are many treatments that are quite successful. This is one of the very aggressive cancers. And if you combine it with natural things, you are going to fare better. There's a, a, now uh, several studies that show TV that right uh, baking hey, soda up. is extremely good for uh, uh, melanoma. So uh, dissolve about three tablespoonfuls in about two, uh, a half a gallon of, of water and then drink that water during the day. It's going to help you tremendously. Um, so I pray that God will grant you the miracle of complete healing. Orsha, God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Orsha, for calling in today. We'll be praying for you as well. Thank you so much. And uh, we have a praise report. Uh, uh, Juliana was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer, ovarian cancer, in June of 08 and given a few months to live. She went to Dr. Contreras' Oasis of Hope Hospital. Wonderful. She was healed under Do Dr. Contreras' ministry. He's a blessing from God. Amen. Amen so to that's that. That's a wonderful and it, and report. It is. And they're all miracles. Uh, Dr. Contreras, I have a, I, uh, I'm a caller. I have a personal question right now. What is the number one cancer? Isn't it uh, for men, generally that men get, is it colon cancer or? The number one mm -hmm. that men get is prostate. Fortunately, yeah. prostate, even though it's, it, it appears in high numbers, is one of the, uh, the tumors that respond the best. Number two is lung and number three is colon. So All you're right. right, colon is way up in, uh, uh, on the list. Right. So as a man, I should be eating healthy, exercising, taking care of myself, and as much as possible, uh, deleting all the bluebell ice cream and the chocolate chip <laughs> cookies, <laughs> which is, you know, one of my favorite. But uh, since you and I met many, many years ago, about nine years ago, I have really cut back on, I've never been a big dessert eater, but I, I do like cookies once in a while, so I've yes. cut way back on all those things and just try and maintain a much healthier lifestyle. Well, we're grateful for Dr. Contreras and his ministry and the Oasis of Hope. And thank you for calling in OSHA and all of you who have written in. We'll, we'll be praying for your prayer request with these men and women of God at the end of this program. So call the number on your screen. and We're going to believe God that God is going to do something special Amen. and wonderful for you no matter what the problem may be.